55% of Americans have credit card debt. U.S. households with credit card debt have on average over $6,800 of revolving credit card debt, meaning that even when they pay down that amount, they add it to their credit card again with new purchases. So the amount of credit card debt they have basically stays at that same amount month after month. In this video, I'll explain the basics of credit cards. We will talk through the potential benefits of credit cards and choosing the best card for you but we will also discuss what not to do with credit cards. Before we get started, I want to mention that credit cards are not for everyone. It is entirely possible to make it through life without credit cards. While there are a lot of possible benefits, there are also a lot of opportunities for credit cards to become a nightmare if not properly managed. I am not a financial expert. I'm just sharing my advice and opinions about credit cards in this video. I would love to hear your opinions about credit cards in the comments below. Without further ado, let's jump in. What is a credit card? A credit card is a payment card that enables people to buy things based on the cardholder's promise to pay the money back. If you pay the credit card company back right away for your purchases, you will only owe the money that you spent. However, if you don't pay them back right away, you'll owe extra money or interest as compensation for borrowing their money. In effect, credit cards are really just a short-term loan. Credit cards have a lot of potential benefits. They allow you to track your spending more easily as all purchases can be viewed online. Managing your credit cards responsibly can also save you hundreds of thousands of dollars in interest on future loans. Showing that you're able to consistently pay on time makes you less risky to vendors, so they're more willing to offer you a lower interest loan for larger purchases in the future. However, credit cards can also be misused. It can be really easy to reach for a credit card without thinking through whether you have the money available to cover the cost of that purchase. When you don't track your credit card spending consistently, it can be easy to spend a little bit extra here and there month after month and rack up a huge amount of credit card debt. Additionally, when you don't pay off your credit cards right away, interest on the amounts that you have spent can be incredibly hefty. Once people get into credit card debt, it can be really discouraging to track your spending because every time you open up your credit card statement, you see just how bad it really is. For that reason, many people who have credit card debt don't even know the actual amount of credit card debt that they have because they would just rather not be discouraged by opening their statement to see how bad it is every month. Despite these potential pitfalls, I do believe that credit cards can be helpful when used responsibly. Based on the possible benefits and the potential challenges, you need to decide if having credit cards is right for you and for your personal situation. If you don't feel like you have a good handle on your money management, you may not want to open a credit card just yet. Or maybe you do want to open one and just put your Netflix or Hulu bill on it every month and then schedule to have it paid off automatically from your bank account every month to build the habit of paying it off on time and only adding a charge that you know you can cover. There are several different kinds of credit cards. Two notable options are travel cards and cashback cards. Travel cards allow you to earn points on expenses that can be used for travel, flights, hotels, cruises, and more. Cashback cards allow you to earn a percentage of your expenses back in cash. Essentially, free money. There are lots of different cards that will reward you in different ways. Travel and cashback cards are just two of the most common options. When choosing a credit card, first decide how you want to be rewarded, travel or cash back or in a different way. When choosing your first credit card, I highly recommend choosing a credit card without an annual fee. Unless you are taking advantage of some really advanced perks, you really should not be paying an annual fee for your credit card. Many credit cards will offer enticing introductory offers. Always pick a credit card that will be a good fit for you over the long term, not just because the introductory offer is appealing. There will always be a new credit card with a great introductory offer, but opening many new cards can negatively impact your credit score. So pick a card that you can stick with for the long term. Nerdwallet.com is one of the places that I have compared credit cards in the past. I will link their site below. Nerdwallet.com is pretty simple to use and offers an overview of many different cards so that you can choose a card that is right for you. But a quick Google search will also yield lots of results with overviews and reviews of different credit cards so that you can get a good idea of what might work best for you. Once you've obtained a credit card that is a good fit for you, it is important to consistently manage it responsibly to ensure you are maximizing the benefits. It can be helpful to set a budget or a spending plan before using your credit card 
to ensure that you're not spending more money than you have. It's important that you track your credit card purchases so that you know exactly how much you owe. As was mentioned before, credit cards make tracking your purchases pretty easy because all of your transactions are recorded on the website online. I recommend reviewing your purchases once a week to make sure that they're correct and that you're sticking to your budget or spending plan. If you remember nothing else from this video, please remember this. Pay your credit card bill in full every single month. If you allow yourself to spend more money than you have one month and are not able to pay your bill in full, it is highly likely that you will allow yourself to do the same again in the future. Those little amounts will quickly add up and can snowball to a crushing amount of credit card debt if you let them. You are in charge of how much money you spend. You are the only person who is responsible for exercising the self-control to only spend the amount of money that you have. So with that piece of advice in mind, credit cards can be really daunting, but if you understand the potential benefits and can avoid the possible pitfalls, if you choose a credit card that fits your needs, and if you consistently manage your credit cards responsibly, you can set yourself on a path to living your richest life. So that is just a brief overview of credit cards. Let me know what questions you have about credit cards in the comments below, and let me know if there are aspects of credit cards that you would like me to dig into more in future videos. Please hit the thumbs up button below if you liked this video, and subscribe to my channel to be the first to know when I upload a new video about money and personal finance. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next one.